honest and will make sure that he takes care of you and everything just kind of, you know, connected and I and we still have a strong relationship today. You kind of have that unique perspective from the rest of the young guys that you kind of had, I guess, tempered expectations of you already knew what you were going to get yourself into. You kind of, do you feel like you gave yourself a leg up knowing that you kind of were entering this program you know, with a sense of knowing what to expect from Snake? Uh, yeah, I mean, you can say that for sure. I, I, even Coach Bilan would tell all of us that the Summer Bridge program and this summer is going to be the hardest summer of our lives. So coming in, I just wanted to be as ready as possible mentally and physically. So, yeah. Getting back to Lithuania for a moment, um, were there relatives that you met that you had never met before when you went back there? How did that work? Yeah, I mean, when I was, I lived, well, I was really young, but I lived there for two years, so I definitely got to meet most of my family when I was that young. But, okay. but could, I mean, did you even no, remember them? No, coming back, I, I came, I would visit Lithuania when I was six years old as well, I believe, so I would remember my grandparents, but everyone else was kind of a blur, and I have a really big family in Lithuania, so I got to meet all my cousins, all my aunts, all my uncles, everyone, so my godmother, my godfather, and you know, it really reconnected me to okay. How much do they understand about now, about American basketball, about the fact that you were going to be playing? Yeah. And I mean, the, it's, at first I don't think they really understood the magnitude of like what I'm doing. But now they, they got a good sense of it. Um, you know, my potential of playing in the NBA, everyone knows what the NBA is even in Lithuania. So, um, and, and they know all about college basketball as well now. And there's, they've, I'm pretty sure there's been articles on me made by Lithuanian writers, so I'm pretty sure they're aware of where I'm at now. Yeah. You've mentioned the NBA a, a few times. I mean, how high is that in your conscience, consciousness even coming into it as a freshman? Honestly, right now, I'm, I'm just focused on killing every single day. That if the NBA comes, it comes. And it, and that's not what I'm worried about right now. What I'm worried about right now is the next practice I have, which is in less than an hour. So that's all I'm thinking about right now. How did the tattoos come about? Um, well, I have my last name on my chest. Okay. Which you can't see right yeah, now. That's but, okay. Um, I'll trust you. <laughs> yeah, so I have that one. And uh, this one just kind of like I want to put my family on my chest and, you know, carry that with me. So. And then this tattoo right here says, no cross is too heavy for you. It's from a story my dad used to tell me about uh, when I was little. And then this snake tattoo right here is just not to fall into temptation and, you know, believe in your own path. Hmm. How old were you when you got those? Uh, my first one right here was 16, and then these two were, like, the past summer. So, pretty recent. What was, the, what was the story about? It was a story, I'll, I'll give a brief story. It was basically about this person who wasn't happy with his life and the lives in the story were represented by crosses. So he would hate his cross. He'd be like, man, like my life is so hard. And then he asked God, he's like, could I, um, could I get another cross? And God like put him in a huge place where there's a bunch of crosses and he was walking around and then he ended up picking the same cross mm. that he had before so okay. just kind of keep in perspective that yeah things could be worse yeah things could be worse and to be grateful for every opportunity that you have Ignis, uh, you were born in Kaunas, Lithuania, right? Yes, sir. So, looking down the list of basketball players from there, Zandrinis Ogauskas, Arvidas Sabonis, there's a lot of great players. Yeah. So, for you, what's that pride like now as you go into your next challenge here in Michigan to try and keep up to, you know, the level that those guys have set long before you're even born? Yeah, it's huge pride. Like, honestly, like, everyone in my family is from Lithuania. So, you know, knowing those players that came from there, I feel like I could be that one of those next players that are great, uh, that have a great future as well. So, I'm, you know, that pride and that love for basketball that Lithuania has, I carry with me as well. And uh, I want to make my home country proud as well as Canada. Now, you were born in Canada, but when did your family uh, emigrate to Canada? 
We moved uh, from Columbus, Lithuania to Chicago when I was two, then we moved to Winnipeg, Manitoba, then Etobicoke, Ontario, and then Oakville, Ontario. Okay, so when did you move into Canada? When I moved to about when I was about five years old, I believe. Okay, so do you remember anything of the home country? Or uh, you, have you been I mean, back? I've been back actually a few years ago, so I kind of got uh, got to reconnect with my entire family and, and see some cool places, so it felt good. I definitely want to visit as much as I can. Though. Now, there's been a lot of talk through when you were recruited to when you committed. Nick Stauskas was kind of your mentor back yeah. home in Canada, so could you just talk a bit on your relationship with Nick and kind of how you guys even first met to what he's talking about the game and also about Michigan? Yeah, we kind of, this uh, recruiting database called MPH uh, in Canada kind of told Nick about me and, you know, Nick hit me up and said, hey, do you want to work out? Like, let's get in the gym together. We're both Lithuanian Canadians. And at that time, I kind of had a name for myself in basketball, so we got a workout, and, and this is before Michigan started recruiting me. And, you know, he just, once Michigan started recruiting me and offered me, he was super excited, like, oh my gosh, no way. And, uh, so he kind um, of, he didn't persuade me, but he told me things I, I'd love to hear about Michigan, like how Coach Bielan is an honest guy, and he doesn't change, and he'll take care of you, and all those things kind of, you know, pushed me towards committing here. Look, Coach Bielan, what was he like during the recruiting process? He's exactly the same as he is now. That's the one thing I absolutely love about him. Everything he said, everything he told me was the same. And he was just an honest guy, like really, really honest. And he never, uh, he never lied. And I felt, I felt like I could trust him. When you uh, think about playing your first game here in two weeks, the banners are going to go up, and of course you hope to raise a few during your career yeah. here. But for you personally, I know that when Stauskas was here, the Maze Rage had a uh, Canadian flag yeah. with up and Maze and Blue. How badly would you want to see that oh, come back? Man, I would love to see that. That would be, <laughs> that'd be something special for sure, just you know, having that Canadian pride out there. and That would just be an honor. And what's the excitement level like for you? I mean, we fans have been hearing about you for a couple of years throughout yeah. your recruitment, but what's it going to mean to finally put on that uniform and represent the university? I'm so excited. I've never been this excited in my life. I've, you know, I've been waiting for this opportunity for a very, very long time now, and I feel like I'm, I'm going to be very ready for the moment. I'm curious.